Well, welcome back to Python scripting for GIS applications. This is a class at the University of Alaska Fairbanks in its spring semester 2013. This week what I want to do is teach you how to use the field calculator that is in ArcMap and how to use Python to make some field calculations that are really handy for users that don't even know Python. So basically a user could load an existing field calculation script and then just apply that and not have to know all about Python coding. So let me show you some examples. So here we've got um, some street names and we could use a variety of Python string functions to give us new names wherever there's an RD put in the string road, wherever there's an ST put in the string street, wherever there's a PL put in the string place, etc. So what I'll do is um, load a previously written field calculator script and then I'll just simply apply that script by hitting the OK button. So then it processes each string and basically if it has an rd for a suffix that becomes road and if it had a st for a suffix that becomes street and then the cases change so uppercase becomes mixed case so that's just one example where we would be using string functions in python to do those field calculations Okay, here's another example where we have polygons, and for each polygon we have the area and we have the perimeter. And what we want to do is come up with a class of edge, which would be a function of the area to perimeter ratio. So basically, if the area divided by the perimeter is greater than 1500, we'll classify that as having low edge, all the way up to if the area divided by the perimeter is less than 500, we'll classify that as being a very high edge. So we'll just um, use a field calculator script in Python to make those calculations. So I simply load my previously written Python script and I'll open it and then simply click on the OK button in my field calculator. So then it makes those calculations as a base area divided by perimeter. And then we could symbolize our polygons using this edge class to look at what polygons have high edge versus what polygons have low edge. So then we could symbolize these polygons. So then basically by edge class give us the four classes and then OK. So then we have our polygons symbolized where if you have lots of interior core, it's a low edge class. And if you've got lots of edge, it's a high edge class, very high edge class. Okay, here's another example. We have points representing radio colored animals. And when the animal is at this location, it has a certain XY coordinate. And when it's at the next location, it has a new XY coordinate. And what we want to do is have a field calculation that calculates the distance between locations. So we could our point distance calculation and then we'll open that. And then I simply press OK on the field calculator. So then it calculates the distance between points. So if we're at the first location, we don't know the previous location, so the distance is zero. But the distance between these core XY coordinates and these XY coordinates is 16,755 meters. Okay, so here's another example. We have lightning strikes for last June in Alaska. So this would be June 1, June 2, June 3. And this would be how many lightning strikes were sensed by a lightning strike detector network in Alaska for each day. 
And what we want to do is have a cumulative account. So for example, the 1st of June, we start at 297 total strikes. The 2nd of June, we'd have 297 plus 104. The 3rd of June, we'd have 297 plus 104 plus 106. So we can write a simple Python script to do that in the field calculator. So I just press OK in my field calculator and it makes those calculations for us. And then once we have the cumulative count, we could come up with a cumulative percentage very easily. Okay, so when in June do we have at least 50% of the lightning strikes have occurred? So here's our day in June and here's our cumulative percent. So then we just simply scroll down and by June 15th, we have over 50% of the lightning strikes that occurred for the month of June. Okay, here's another example. We've got a watershed basin, the C3 basin, and for various dates we have the stream discharge flow at the outlet of the watershed basin, and that flow is in liters per second. And what we might want to do is come up with a class of flow ranging from a very low flow if it's less than 10 liters per second, to extreme flow if it's above 300 liters per second. So we can do a field calculation on our class name and just use a small Python script to do that classification. So now we've got very low flow for these guys and extreme flow if it's above 300 liters per second. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna teach you this week is basically how to do Python scripting using the field calculator.